good evening friends god bless you uh, today we are going to look into a very interesting uh, uh, time in, a, in from old testament book of ezra and before we go there uh, let me ask you this question uh, when you ask uh, forgiveness to uh, from from god god does forgive us he's faithful he forgives our sins but how often you keep remembering your sin and every time you pray you ask forgiveness again and again and again it is kind of a, a slapping on a face of god that whether you are not believing whether god forgive you or not or you are not totally uh, believing in the forgiveness that is offered on the on the cross there is another side of it because devil try to remind us our sin and there is a reason why devil does that he does not want us to move forward with god's plan in our life so he is keep reminding us and keep reminding us saying that do you remember how bad you were do you think that god has forgiven you and then we go in this vicious cycle about asking forgiveness over and over and over again not believing in true forgiveness of god but god has already forgiven you there is a second side of it that we are not aware of it there is a consequences of keep repeating our sins over and over again and and falling in this uh, trap and if you wanted to see this real um example then we have to look into book of ezra if you, it starts with a, a third chapter i'm not going to read everything in a third chapter some somewhere, somewhere around 535 bc the people from a captivity babylonian captivity returns to jerusalem they returned there under the leadership of zerubbabel and joshua joshua is this is a high priest not the joshua from the uh, time of exodus this is joshua is a high priest it's a different character so joshua and zerubbabel started building this first thing they start building is the altar and they started morning and evening sacrifice they started first the altar so the they 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 build the altar and they start um uh, doing other other rebuilding work they spend nearly 5 years 535 bc to 530 bc and if you go to ezra chapter 4 then the surrounding people came and they started to discouraging them they started to hinder their work they write wrote letters to the king and then in chapter 4 uh was 23 they came back the authority a letter got, uh, the king has approved them to stop the work and they came back and they stopped the work so work stopped somewhere around 530 bc so only 5 years has passed by and the work stopped and you know how many years the work stopped how many years work stopped nearly about 10 years some people calculate 7 years some people calculate 10 years between 7 to 10 years the work was completely stopped they came they built the altar only by this time only the foundation of the altar is built nothing more is done and then god was gracious if you read ezra chapter 6 uh then they got the permission to continue with that work and then the work resumed in 520 BC and in 5 years 515 they finished the building entire temple first by 5 years only the altar was built and in the last 5 years 520 BC to 515 BC entire temple was built so how this how this happen where this speed came from how this why they were doing so little work in first 5 years and how come this so much work 
is done in five years and for 10 years why nothing happened why nothing happened <laughs> the uh, the story you have to uh, understand like like bible says that our fight is not with a flesh and blood or fight with the prince uh, prince and principality of the darkness so there is a Another world we are not seeing it called spiritual world and there is always fight going on and then Bible is good enough for us to see what is happening around that time if you turn with me Zechariah chapter 3 verse 1 then he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at the right side accuse him. Do you know what is happening on the earth? On the earth, when they built the altar, the surrounding people started started stopping their work, telling things, whatever they were taunting them, whatever they were saying. And in a spiritual world, you see it, what was happening? Devil, Satan himself, was accusing Joshua the high priest. And verse 2, Then the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. And verse 3, Now Joshua, so 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 it, it says that God was on Joshua's side. Devil was accusing Joshua, but God was all this time both with Joshua, the high priest. Because he rebukes the devil. Now what happens in verse 3, if you read again, uh, it says, Now Joshua was dressed in filthy clothes as he stood before the angel. How Joshua's clothes, this is happening in a spiritual realm, how Joshua's clothes get filthy. It's very interesting. What was the filth? He was rebuilding temple. And the people saying things against him. And he started believing in what the people are saying, not what the God is saying. He was started questioning himself. These people might be right. They are saying, I have no capability. I have no skills. Who am I? That is the field. And then, the, verse 4, Then the angel said to those who were standing before him, Take off his filthy clothes. And then he says, Then he said to Joshua, See, I have taken away your sin. But uh, the, the Hebrew word here is called Avon. Avon Hebrew word means uh, guilt. Guilt of iniquity. Do you feel guilt? When you start praying or reading Bible or doing something, devil comes and says that, do you remember what bad things you did? How bad things you did? How bad thoughts came in your mind? And you feel guilt. And then you go back again and say, Lord, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Because you started getting guilt. This is what says here. God says to Joshua, look, I am taking away your guilt. And God says that I'm taking away your filth. I'm putting a, a taking away your filthy garment and I'm putting a fine garment on you. And then in verse 5 it says, Then I said, put a clean turban on his head. A clean turban. There is no condemnation, Joshua. You are free. You are acceptable in God's eyes. And as long as Joshua believed the lies of devil, the work of rebuilding the temple was stopped for nearly 10 years. Why he waited and believed those lies for 10 years? And friends, my question is, how long you keep believing on the lies of devil that you are unworthy, you are sinful, you are condemned, God is angry with you. Joshua the high priest 
wasted 10 years. And when he removed, he started believing in God. He started believing in the promises of God. His sins are already forgiven. It was the guilt that he started believing in those guilt that was sticking with him. And he stopped the work. And as soon as he got rid of those guilt, immediately the work resumed and a fast, at a fast pace. Next five years, they finished not just the altar, they finished the entire temple. I want you to challenge you that if you have asked forgiveness of your uh, of your sins to God, He has forgiven you once and for all. He has forgiven your sins in the from the past. For for He has forgiven your sins for from today. He has forgiven your sins from from future. It may strange, strange, sound strange, strange, but think about that. If you ask your forgiveness. Jesus Christ died 2,000 years ago. So from 2,000 years ago, still for when Jesus died till today is a future. So if Jesus has forgiven today, is what you what considers when Jesus died in that reference point, it is future. Then Jesus has forgiven all your future sins. Bible says, I have forgiven you. But then devil comes back and just like Joshua, he brings back old again. Look at you. Look at what you did. Who you are. You can never be a son of God. A daughter of God. Those are the lies. Don't pay attention. Anytime they will remind you of your wrongdoings or your shortcomings or of your sin in the past. That you have already confessed. Then tell devil that yes. But Jesus Christ has forgiven that sin on the cross. And he is going to remember no more. You have to take stand. And when you do that, the devil has a no chance to stand against you. Friends, the story of Ezra and rebuilding of the temple and what happened in a spiritual world in Zechariah chapter 3. Read again. Ezra 3, 4, 5, 6 and Zechariah chapter 3. And you will see what is happening on earth and you will see what is happening in a spiritual world. And you see the correlation. There's a devil that is bringing back guilt again and again and again and again. So you will not enjoy the freedom for which Jesus has promised that I have come to give you a life and life of abundance. May God bless you today and open your eyes that your sins are forgiven. You are free. You are righteous. You are holy. You are acceptable in God's eyes. There is no condemnation against you. God bless you and thank you.